Hey everyone, Ultima456 here with a channel update video for you. Yes, I know it has been a long time, like six months since I made the last one, but uh, yeah, finally got around to making one. It's just because I've been working so hard on like everything as much as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, that's what this video is going to be sort of talking about. Um, so to start off with, nothing really to say about like work life or personal life. It's pretty much all the same. It's been going fairly well. Nothing like amazing happened, nothing uh, terrible happened. So nice balance of just normalcy, which is good considering the world that we live in nowadays. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's good. And it's, that has actually been very conducive to assisting in me helping uh, in me, uh, doing the channel and making sure the content comes out on time and I've got as much content as I can and it's the best I can possibly produce. So yeah, it's been good. Um, so the current game is God of War going through it well. Uh, by the time you see this uh, episode, actually this will be up like probably around 12 hours after I record it, a little less than 12 hours after I record it. Um, just because uh, I don't have much time to kind of like fiddle around with it. So I'm just going to record it, get it ready and upload it. So yeah, it's been going great. I've been really enjoying it. I can't wait for the sequel. Um, this game is just, it's just one of the best games. Like it, it's just so fun. The combat is so, so fun. And even after, uh, by the time we finish it, uh, I'll have completed God of War four times. And I'm going to mention, I mentioned that in one of the episodes as well, the upcoming episodes. I'm going to have completed the game like four times. Uh, once when I first played it, once during the first practice, once during the second practice and once with the guide. So it's crazy. And it's just, I love it, man. It's just such a great game. And I can't wait for the second, second game. It's going to be awesome. Um, another thing to say is thank you for all the people who've been watching. Um, I, I'm pretty confident that God of War is actually the most popular sort of like recent series that I've done. And what I mean is like when I upload, it's getting like a hundred views on every episode within like 24 hours, which is like, I'm fairly confident that's the most I've ever had for any game. Even, even like some of the bigger titles, like maybe one of the Dark Souls games was getting around that much eventually. Like, but I feel like it was in a week because it was so long ago. So I'm really happy to see that. I'm really glad people still like, love this game and love watching it. Uh, doing it on Give, Give Me God of War is, is awesome. Another thing to note is I don't think that there is another playthrough on YouTube that is a uh, new game, Give Me God of War, and it's going for 100%. Like I haven't fully checked into this, but mine might be the only like 100% Give Me God of War playthrough. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, the next thing is I don't hundred percent know what I'm going to do after God of War. My guess is, uh, I want to do Resident Evil four, um, because I don't think that game is too long, but, um, and you know, I want to do the Resident Evils, So I want to eventually get them out of the way. Um, unfortunately Resident Evil four, and I forgot this, like I, I, re I looked it up once and I was like, oh, and then I just forgot about it and never mentioned it until someone had commented about it. Um, the other uh in i don't know i think like in the past update video or something it doesn't have a platinum it's uh it's strange like that for whatever reason the the version that they released just didn't have a platinum so it's only got like 12 or 13 trophies or some small number that's a uh, i'm going off memory there because it's been a while since i looked but um it's only got a small number of trophies so it's not a big deal i'll just call it let's 100 you know instead of let's platinum um but uh it, that's probably what i'm gonna do um in regards to future content um elden ring is releasing in february so it's not too far away like what is that three months away wait one two yeah three months away um with with elden ring um i've been watching a few videos on it um maximilian dude has just recently put up uh it was like a, a short video of first impressions and now he's done like a part one of um of like uh, the beginning of the game and I'm investing a lot of time in like watching that and trying to analyze exactly how I'm going to like proceed through that game because it is a lot like the Souls games which is great it looks first of all like all the changes that they've made look really solid so you can jump now I wasn't really bothered by that a lot of people were bothered by that way more than I was <laughs> um, you can crouch which is an interesting mechanic to add to the game as well um, it's like more open world now. So instead of just like, you go to this area, you explore everything, you go to this area, you explore everything. Now it's like, it's that plus 
in the area that you're in, you can explore like a wider variety. And just judging from his first episode, which I actually just watched before filming this, um, there is a lot, like there's a ton to explore, which is actually gonna make it quite difficult for me to get the game uh, you know, ready to go as quickly as possible. Um, typically it takes like a month, uh, usually. Um, it might take longer, I don't know. I wanna make sure it turns out really good. I wanna try and make sure that I get all the secrets. Typically how I do this is like, I'll play through the game myself, find everything I possibly can, go for all like the platinum requirements, like the trophies and all that kind of stuff. And then generally um, I'll come across the stuff that I missed, you know, like it'll just happen. So it's like, oh, this trophy requires you to get all the weapons and you missed this weapon in this like illusory wall that you you skipped by accident, you know what I mean? So a lot of that stuff will come through and then, you know, fingers crossed that I managed to get everything that the game has to offer. So it is going to be a difficult one. I think Elden Ring, I, I'm not frightened by the difficulty of the game. I'm frightened by more so the, the breadth, like the just sheer size of it and um and how i'm going to sort of like proceed with that but you know it, that's not stopped me before i've everything that i've done i've i've done and i've accomplished like heck i finished like tales of symphonia like 233 episodes which is like four or five playthroughs so yeah i i know i can do it it's just one of those things where it's like okay here we go but luckily i love this so like it's yeah it's fine it's not it's not scary. It's just uh, nerve wracking, I guess, if that's a way to <laughs> like the slight change on that. Um, another game that actually, again, Maximilian, dude, I know I've mentioned him <laughs> many times now. Another game that he talked about was a game that I had no idea existed until recently. Uh, he released a video. Apparently this was like common knowledge, maybe not common knowledge, maybe uncommon knowledge or rare knowledge or legendary knowledge. <laughs> um, but it, uh, it was a... It's called Lies of P and like the letter P and it seems to be like you're playing as Pinocchio from like the nursery rhyme and you're looking for Geppetto and he made a really interesting observation in that it's kind of like Mega Man where Mega Man is like a human and he's modified and so is this Pinocchio character and you're searching for your creator, you know, the robot master or in this case Geppetto, the, the puppet master. Huh, the puppet master. <laughs> Geppetto is going to be the final boss, isn't he? <laughs> I just realized that. Um, that was genuine, that one. I didn't, I didn't think of that before. <laughs> I only, only came up uh, with it now. Um, but yeah, that game looks awesome too. Like uh, he was saying, like it looks, it almost looks too good. And I, and I kind of, I agree. I mean, like, what do we even like extract from that? Like what it's, it's fake. It's like the, what do you call Black Myth Wukong where everyone released, uh, sorry, the video released and everyone went crazy. And it's like, what is it? Is it fake? No, I don't, I don't think it's fake. I, I think it's real. It looks real enough to me. Uh, I'm just glad that there's no release date. I mean, like just leave that game in the far future. I've got plenty of stuff to concern myself with right now. So yeah. Um, next thing is the game awards, the game awards at the end of the year. So it's about a month away, 10th of December, I think it said uh, when I typed it into Google the other day, I think it was yesterday, um, 10th of December, 12 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. So for any Australians out there, if you're going to be at work, it's going to be on a Friday uh, and it's going to be exactly at lunchtime, which actually, funnily enough, 12 p.m. is my lunchtime. So maybe I can stream stream it when I'm at lunch. So I'll just be like, all right, I'm going to lunch <laughs> and then I get all my stuff ready. I'll even take like five extra minutes before <laughs> and, uh, and just get it ready. Um, I, I love the game awards because, um, you know, hopefully we get to see all the, uh, we get to see games that deserve really great awards, win awards. But obviously the biggest thing is like the releases, you know, it's kind of like our E3 now. Jeff Keighley created his own E3, which is kind of insane. And um, apparently, according to a few news sources, there's going to be like 40 to 50 games announced at the Game Awards, which is just mind boggling. Um, obviously, a lot of those are going to be small indie titles. But, um, you know, fingers crossed we see maybe like a um, another teaser for Wolverine. Um, you know, it'd be nice to see his um, like his outfit. Are they going to go for that? Is it yellow and blue? I think it's yellow and blue. Are they going to go for, you know, one of the other iterations of the of the costume? Like maybe a new iteration. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be cool. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot of things being announced there. Um, hopefully we see, oh, that's something I didn't write down. Uh, so the 
there's that kind of rumor that seems like it's going to be true is the rumor from Blue Point Games that they're making a Bloodborne remaster. And then there's also Bloodborne 2. <sighs> How? Like, there's just so much stuff. I mean, now, right now, it's kind of a drought, right? There hasn't been PS5s are scarce. The the resistors or conductors or whatever the, the part is, semiconductors, are like, we can't make them because of the pandemic and, and a shortage of parts and so on and so forth. So there's like a... A halt there's a there's a massive halt on all things gaming and typically this happens anyway with um with new releases and new console releases but it's been exacerbated because of the pandemic so um it's crazy to me that like very soon we're going to get more and more and more and more and more games so you know they're coming I, i think 2022 maybe even 2023 I don't know, 2022 seems like there's going to be a flood of games just coming in. Um, if Bluepoint do uh, do a Bloodborne remaster and Bloodborne 2, obviously I'll do Bloodborne 2. And I'm honestly, I think I'll do the Bloodborne remaster as well. I I kind of wanted to go back and like, I, I honestly kind of want to go back and remake my guide for Bloodborne because of the mistake that I made. Um, but also because like it would also give me an opportunity to use different weapons like the saw cleaver was really good to use on the blood star beast um to like because of the there's like a mechanic in that game that's very very like it's not specifically stated um and it's like so it's such a minute detail that you only learn about it um like on repeat playthroughs and it's something like if you use the saw cleaver or any weapons that sort of like rend and tear uh, flesh-like beasts then you'll break their limbs and then allow yourself to either get like a visceral attack or do more damage and all that kind of stuff so that was one thing that I didn't notice when I played my time my I was unga bunga I was hunter axe all the way bang 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 and I, lo- I loved figuring out that that frame perfect um r1 press to go straight into the second animation of the of the uh the overhead overhead attack I can't remember exactly but I remember if you pressed r1 at like the last few frames it wasn't it probably wasn't frame perfect but the last possible frames you can do the attack that it, it follows up and it didn't seem like it was intended uh by the developers but yeah it's uh pretty cool so i think yeah i i'll definitely be playing the remaster for bloodborne and i'll definitely play bloodborne 2 as well if if these rumors end up being true um okay next thing so i have actually got another long may we plat series uh, almost ready for you. In fact, it's almost complete. Uh, it is not a Long May We Plat, it's a Long May We 100%. I'm not going to say what the game is. Um, all I'll say is that my sister joined me for the entirety of it. She will, like, we've done, I think, 11 or 12 episodes um, of about an hour each as my that series goes, because it's kind of a, like the longer series. Um, we, I think it's going to take about 20 episodes to get through. I don't know 100%, like, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. It's, um, we're, we're getting there. Um, I, I look, honestly, it probably won't be everyone's cup of tea, but if you, um, like for me, it's, um, one of the, one of the best things that I like about it is it gives me an opportunity to be, to be funny because I, th- I feel like in a lot of my guides, I can't be as funny as I know I can be sometimes. And I'm not trying to be like arrogant about that. It's just that like, when I'm like, when I'm by myself, I, I talk to myself a lot and like, I'll say things to myself and I'll just be like, that was hilarious. Like, why is no one around to hear this? <laughs> and so when we're doing the game and it's, it just, it's, it's so perfect for like my kind of humor that just like to come up with, with something funny or witty. So I feel like it was actually very funny. And, and, um, and I really hope you guys, even if you're not super into like what the game is about, I hope you watch it anyway. Um, I, I'd recommend just watching maybe episode one, maybe two, um, even though they're like an hour long. Watch it on 1.5. Everyone should be watching everything in 1.5. You know why? Because it, regardless of how old you are, by the time you die, if you die at like an old age, like 70 or 80, you will have saved like two, maybe even three years of time just watching stuff at faster speeds. I cannot stress this enough. Watch everything at 1.5. We only, like, you know, YOLO. You only live once as far as we know, right? We don't know if we get reincarnated. We know if we go to heaven. We don't know what. Just absorb as much content as you possibly can. Watch everything at 1.5 or faster <laughs> if you can handle it. Your brain can perceive information and, and, um, and receive information a lot faster than 
the normal talking speed, right? So right now, if you're watching this on 1.5, I'm probably talking about this speed. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, but anyway, look, that will be coming out soon. I am i don't know exactly when. Um, I haven't actually watched any of the episodes back and done any of the, uh, any of the editing because like I said, I've still been doing God of War, um, but I'll watch it back really soon. And what I'm gonna try and do is instead of an episode a week, I'll do it maybe an episode every three days. So that, that way it can finish sometime around the end of the year, maybe like early into January, uh, and it'll be kind of like a little bonus Christmas present from me. <laughs> um, you know, I've really, really been trying this year to to do as much content as I can. Even though I've only done like five games similar to last year, it's just how it goes. You know, 20 minutes is kind of like, it's the perfect middle ground. It's, it's something like we get through a decent chunk of game. I get to uh, not get too stressed out about how many episodes I'm ahead. Um, and it gives me time to do stuff for myself as well. So yeah. And then throwing that one hour episode in, you know, every time to try and record and, and get it done is the best I can do. So I'm glad that I managed to get another one ready. It's, it's almost ready and it will release soon. Uh, the next thing is, um, titles and descriptions. So many, but when I started this, I think my biggest problem, the biggest problem that I had, and this is kind of like a process of learning and stuff and, and realizing, because everyone starts at different points. You know, I think like a lot of people probably, um, I got some emails like early on that I think were fake, but if they weren't fake, it was really nice. There was some emails saying like, you obviously know what you're doing. Like, would you like to, I think it was like, would you like to join one of those, um, MGMs or something? I can't remember. It's like, you know, those things that they pay you to make videos. And I was like, I don't know, man, I just started like, why, why are you offering me? This seems a bit shady. So I ignored it. But, um, but when I look back at my videos, I'm like, okay, I, I did a lot of things right, but I also did a lot of things wrong. First of all, my recording equipment and the setup that I had was terrible, but that was just the nature of what it was like in 2015, you know? Uh, and that got better and better and better until now, like where I'm like, I'm still not, I, I still wouldn't say my stuff is absolutely perfect. You know, there's still like some minor audio issues that irk me, but it's difficult to figure out how to like fix those and all that kind of stuff. But I think the vast majority of what I do now is it's a tremendously better it's day and night if you look at episode one of Bloodborne compared to to um what I'm doing now uh and one thing that I didn't do was I didn't watch my episodes back I really thought that everything that I did I was like yep that's fine need to no clarification whatsoever I had absolutely no mistakes my speech was impeccable I didn't <laughs> I didn't misspeak once that was stupid that was my that was one of my biggest flaws I should have watched my episodes back uh, and not only for just like clarification purposes and refinement, but also for like coming up with titles and descriptions, which I really like to do. Um, there is a few, you know, I juggle it sometimes with like, so Bloodborne, the episodes are labeled after each area. So it's more of like a, you know, oh, where did he go in this episode? Where was he in this episode? You can just find out by the titles. Nowadays, I tend to kind of like try and put a little bit of creativity into the titles, try and make it funny, try and make it interesting. Some of them end up like really good in my opinion. Other times I'm like, wow, I have to phone this one in because I have no idea what I'm going to call this. Um, but it's just, it's just how it goes. And one of the games that I did that I didn't get a chance to do titles and descriptions for was The Evil Within. And The Evil Within is such a story, heavy story based game that I was like, oh, I should have totally done titles and descriptions. And I didn't. So for the past like two years, I've been watching my Evil Within videos back and just like really concentrating and going, well, what can I call this episode? What do I write in the description? Is there anything else I can add? You know, all these kind of little things. And, uh, Actually, to be honest, I didn't add the one thing that I was thinking of, but I'll explain. So uh, when I say two years, it wasn't like it took me two years. It was like, you know, I would watch like 10 episodes in a week and then I'd get bored and I'd be like, eh, I'll, well, not bored, but I'd, be, I'd get like frustrated and be like, eh, I need to do more like current YouTube stuff. Forget about this. And then I'd come back a few months later and watch another 10 episodes. And then eventually I got up to episode like 70 something, 75, 76. And I was like, you know what? I'm just watching everything. Let's, let's figure this out. So I kind of like made a little bit of a plan. I was like, all right, tonight I'm going home watching another few episodes and then another few episodes. And then in another like month or so, I finally had everything done. So I watched all 114 episodes back and I wrote titles and descriptions for everything. I know that doesn't really matter to anyone who uh, has already seen the series or will not watch the series, but for people who do intend to watch it now, it's a lot more like it's fleshed out and honestly, like you can't see it, but on my end from the YouTube creator studios, it's referred to 
I put the first, so I opened up 10 episodes and I did all the admin for it and then saved everything. And then when I went back to channel content, it had my first 10 episodes and the next 10. And I just looked at it, I was like, yeah, that's much better. <laughs> so it was um, something that I wanted to do for a long time and I finally got around to it. The, the other game that I haven't done it for is Tales of Symphonia, but that's 233 episodes long. I got through, I think, 60 or 70 episodes of that and I kind of do want to go back eventually and, and get that done. Um, but I don't know. I have to figure out some time to do it. Speaking of Tales of Symphonia, gosh, I've been really wanting to play it because there has been a commenter um, who's been watching through recently all of the episodes and he's been commenting on a lot of the episodes and we've been having some great back and forth and he's really getting me to play the game again. Now, I'm not going to play the game again. I'm not going to play it. Don't worry. It's been like five years, but I'm not going to play it again. I might play it for myself at some point, but uh, don't worry. It's it's fine. But what I should be doing is I should be doing the sequel uh, because I did say, I did promise it. And I think in a future video, like in a, uh, well, now a past update video, I said maybe it was a promise that I couldn't keep. I think there's a chance I can do it. it. I just have to see exactly how everything else is going to turn out in the next few months, particularly next year. And there might be a chance for me to do it. I, I could, what I could do is I kind of could do it as a long, maybe plat series. So that way I do an hour and, and even if it takes me the whole year, at least it, at least it gets done. But at the same time, I'm like, I'd, I like to keep that like similarity, but well, I guess it would be different because the first, <laughs> the first game was like 30 minute episodes, but I was like, I like to keep my 20 minute episode chunks unless of course i'm like super deciding to do it as long may we plat because then it's like let's platinum tells symphonia and then long may we plat tells symphonia dawn of the new world and i'm like you know there's a bit of a mismatch there and that's just my little like you know um ocd kind of thing that that gets me so yeah um all right i'll try and finish off we're almost done 21 minutes doing well i talk a lot agdq 2022 is the next speedrun marathon and i'm looking forward to this one because i haven't really been as invested in the recent in recent years with speedrunning but this one it looks good um there's a good list of games this year and uh i i'm intrigued i'm i'm interested sadly america is still not in a position or not america but like the um the marathon runners, they're still really concerned about uh, COVID and they don't want to do an in-person event, which kind of takes away, it takes the, it's the spark that makes a, um, the GDQs what they are, you know, that makes them so fun and so interesting and so funny and just have these amazing moments, you know, and it is, it, it is a shame that they can't do the events in person. Makes total sense to me as well. You know, it's probably a good idea to keep people separated for a little while longer like we're, we're getting through this like australia we've been doing pretty well like we don't have many deaths now we have very few cases we did have to sacrifice what like four months of our freedom in terms of the lockdown but for someone who's essentially an introvert like me it doesn't really matter i can understand extroverted people who need the energy from other people they want to be outside they want to be with their friends they want to be partying and all that i can totally understand that but i think honestly we we've done a good job and it was four months and now here's the thing we've been out of lockdown for about a month and a half and our cases have not skyrocketed like uh, the experts thought that they were going to. We, they thought 2,000 cases a day minimum and our cases have been down like below 300 almost every day for the past month and a half. We even had a day of like 160 or 180 cases with the Delta variant, which is crazy. So I think a lot of Australians are really like understanding what they need to do. The common sense has finally been, you know, flooded through our, our purview and it's like, we're getting there. Like we're under, like for me, it's like, if I have to go somewhere, I'll put a mask on when I'm inside outside to me, it never really made sense, but you know, I did it because that's, that's the rule. Try and make, you know, try and keep everyone good. Um, you know, be safe and all that, but inside I will wear a mask cause I'm not going to be in there for very long anyway. So I put the mask on, go inside, do what I need to do, get outside, get into the car, take off the mask off I go. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's how it is. But anyway, um, We've done a really good job. I'm proud of us and um, and America will get to a point and like the GDQ runners and, and the other events that take place, you guys will get to a point, I 100% believe it, uh, where they can do the in-person events again. And when those in-person events come back, man, that donation total, I expect it to hit four, five million. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's get that done. Um, all right. Uh, anything else? Oh, interestingly, so the last time I updated the channel with this type of update video was six years. 
um, that my channel was, you know, going strong. And because this is six months later, it's going to be the six and a half year anniversary. So it'll be the 24th of May, I think it is. Oh, sorry, 24th of um, November. Uh, so yeah, six years and six months, which is crazy. But we're still going. <laughs> yeah. All right. So just before we, uh, oh, and, and 6K subs is, we're getting close. We're getting close. I've lost a lot of subscribers. I don't know what it is with my channel. Like I just lose subscribers constantly now. It, it's just, it's really uh, like strange. So, but it's, it's fine. It's, it, you know, it is what it is. Um, and just how it goes. So yeah, but maybe we can hit 6K subs. If I get like a random little boost of 50 in a couple of days, which hasn't happened for many, many months, but, um, well at all, pretty much. I think the most I ever got in one day was like 20 something. Um, that was years ago, but, uh, yeah, if I was to get like a nice little boost at some point, we could probably get to 6k by the end of the year. It's only been like 1k since the beginning of the year, but it's okay. It is what it is. I'm still enjoying what I'm doing and, um, yeah, it's still going good. So I'll keep going. Um, so I guess just to finish, I'll let you know, so the games that I'm sort of still concentrating on are still similar to what I had last time. So I have written down here. So Dungeon 2, it's done. Resident Evil 8, it's done. But there's also the DLC that they're talking about, free DLC. I don't know if it'll have um, trophies, but I guess if it does, I'll do it. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, DLC. When it's released like this, like where they're like, hey, we're going to have free DLC and I've already done the game, like cool, bring it on. I'll release your DLC. I'll have a look at it. I'll probably be able to get it done quite quickly. I can make videos on it. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, obviously Resident Evil 2 took a long time because I, I was just juggling so many things. Like now that work has sort of like calmed down to a point where it's like you work between these hours and these hours. And then after that, you can do your, your own thing. Like it's just been so much easier. There was so much stress at work with the previous job that I was in that I, it was much more difficult to juggle things. But now I'm sort of more focused. I'm able to use my brain when I'm at home and I can turn it off when I'm at work. <laughs> so yeah, it actually works. I mean, that's the thing. Like if you're, if you consider yourself like a smart person, get a job that's more physical. I mean, look at me, I'm, I'm skinny, but like I can still, uh, I can still do just as much as the other guys. Maybe I can't pick up as much as they can but I can I can uh, work just as hard um, if not harder in fact without wanting to be arrogant like the rock right you will I respect all of you you will not outwork me <laughs> and uh, I've yet to find someone who outworks me so I'm still keeping up with that one um, so yeah Dungarampa 2 is done Resident Evil 8 is done God of War is getting done RE4 after that Dungarampa Ultra Despair Girls is what I want to do after that now here's the interesting thing on howlongtobeat.com, it actually says that that game is quite, like it's even smaller than I actually first anticipated. So I was like, oh, this will work really, really well. So what I wanna do is if RE4 can finish around mid-February, which I think is when it will, I can start Romper. Hopefully Elden Ring comes out within the first two weeks of starting it. I will just blast through Romper as much as I possibly can within those two weeks, get the guide effectively, you know, pieced together most mostly get the episodes going one, two, three, four, and then um, I can play Elden Ring, you know, pretty much consistently, uh, apart from, uh, pretty much during the weekdays and then leave it on the weekends, do a Danganronpa episodes. And then, you know, if I can fit Elden Ring playtime in there as well, and then keep making that game as I, um, as I get through Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. So that way I can release that. And then finally, the only other games that are uh, like still on the list in terms of what I said last time were Shadow of the Colossus, definitely want to do that. Final Fantasy VII Remake, definitely want to do that. Neo 2, definitely want to do that. And Danganronpa V3. After all that is done, and depending on how things go, I don't know, um, then I can finally get onto like a new sort of list of games. Cause I've had this list of games for a while and I've been working through them for as much as I possibly can. These are the ones that I want to concentrate trade on right now i'm not really interested in anything else i just i'm a little bit tunnel vision but i'm like go 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 just get this stuff done and then we can move on to stuff like devil may cry um and uh, other series that I, I haven't thought too much about but just yeah other series um all right well yes 30 minutes again as as uh, typical by by me but uh, you know if you guys liked listening to me talk then uh this is uh, fun. And I know for for a fact that like whenever someone I watch on YouTube posts uh, an update video, I'm like, cool, like, let's listen, you know, like that. I love that. I love update videos. So I know some people very much like it. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you everything you need to know um, about what's coming up. So spirits are still high. Things are still good. Let's get through this. Um, pandemic is it's getting there. Like we're, we're, we're at the, almost at the finish line now. So let's keep going. Um, and I am excited for everything to come like from PS5 and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's going to be fun. All right. I'll leave it there. 
Well, I want to thank you all for watching this update video of mine. Uh, my name's Ultimate456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.